Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jamie aka Rick here with another add-on video. This one is going to be about Need to Know and this was actually requested by a viewer as uh, they asked for, you know, if you could get Quartz to like time your debuffs and buffs and uh, I, as far as I know there isn't a way to do it without targeting yourself which was the key component to the question so I had a little dig around and I found this add-on that I used to use it's called, as I said before, Need to Know and uh, I'll show you how to set it up now it's really easy and uh, you know it doesn't take too long I'm going to show you how to set it up and then for the benefit of that viewer I'm going to show how I've set up my Holy Paladin and uh, hopefully, or no my I've actually done it in my prop paladin, but it's the same. It will show exactly what he wanted to know. So this is a little bar you'll get. It will appear up here in the top corner. We're just going to fly out of Stormwind a little bit. Because <clears throat> there's so many griffins flapping about. Anyway, so this is a bar you'll get. And there'll be absolutely nothing on it. And if you... First of all, you can go into interface and add-ons, need to know... It'll be there. You can change the amount of bars that appear on it. So if I click that, obviously, as you can see, bars get higher and lower. If you click group two, another box will appear. So all things like that, you can have as like up to four. And I'm not sure how many bars they go up to. But it, as you can see, it's a hell of a lot. More than you'll ever need, really, on uh, any class. No class needs that many bars. So Unless you're literally tracking every spell, which I can't really see why. Anyway, for appearance, I always go flat. And aerial narrow. That's just how everything else on my UI is set up. I like to keep it uniform, and I like the fact that you can actually do this with all add-ons. They all have like the same textures and same fonts, which is really cool. Um, big fan of that. Anyway, so now we've changed that. We've just got this little box and this little box only. So, what really do I want to, as a DK, what do I want cooldown-wise to be on this bar? For me, it's literally just Pillar of Frost and Raise Dead. That is kind of the only two things that I really like follow. You know, that's the only two cooldowns that I really look out for. I could put Empower Room Weapon on there. I could put Icebound Fortitude. I could put Anti Magic Shell on there. Stuff like that. Definitely could go on there quite easily. Army of the Dead even could go on there. Um, but personally, it's going to be Pillar of Frost, Raise Dead and empowered room weapon because I'm not a tank so I don't need to know about Icebound Fortitude they're literally panic buttons if something's going wrong I can push those so I don't need those all the time so you literally you right click on this and you obviously first of all you want to make sure it's on it'll be a buff because obviously Pillar of Frost <clears throat> will as be as a buff so you want that to appear first of all so make sure that's on buff for now and then you want to go choose buff and it'll come up this box. Just to make sure you get your spelling right, I recommend hover over in the spell while you type your, uh, you know, what you're tracking in this box. So now that Pillar of Frost is on there. And uh, we'll put some more on there just to fill it out a little bit. <clears throat> right, we've got Raise Dead. Like that. Pretty sure that's spelled right. Yes, it is. And the last one was Empower rune actually no i don't need that one because it's not a buff it literally works straight away so i'm going to save that one for when i do the cooldowns which uh will be in a minute so is that the only buffs that i need to actually watch as far as i know yes so we're going to go into interface and remove that uh third bar just because we don't need it so we're going to go like that right and obviously you can change the bar color to literally whatever you want. I'm going to go for a, a nice bright red and then I'm going to move out the way over here as I do this one just so I can make sure I get the same colour which is important because you don't want more different colours. That looks pretty much identical. Right so now we're going to put this in some sort of position where we'd want it. As one more thing, uh, time format I like to go minutes and seconds. I don't know it's just a personal preference for me I like to see a bit more detail because with the buffs up here it says 9 minutes but really it could be anywhere from 8 minutes and 1 second to 8 minutes 59 seconds so it's not as precise as I like to have it so <clears throat> right and then you type slash need to know like that and it goes away and now if I land and pop cooldowns like if I pop 8 and 9 as you can see there land here do that and there we go pillar of frost oh obviously 
Raise Dead isn't a buff either, so it's a little fail there. But Pillar of Frost is now on a buff, as you can see up here. I'm um, buffed by Pillar of Frost, so it's ticking down there. So that's the first stage of, you know, my Death Knight's tracking abilities done. And we're going to go back into Need to Know. This just takes it out of, like, game mode and config mode. So if we want to go to bar type and then go spell cooldown, now when I hit um, raise dead, it will show me the cooldown left on that, which is really helpful. So we're also going to do, this is another little trick that I've got. If you go, um, yeah, interface, we need to go to interface. And we're actually going to take this down to one and enable this and put it up to one, two, three, we'll say three, three is fine. And then we'll go config mode. Okay. <clears throat> and then what you want to do is you want to drag it, just put it over here for now, go to bar type, spell cooldown. And then you want to go a pillar of frost like this. So, and then in a minute, like or now, I can put it above this one directly. And then once it stopped tracking that being a buff, it will automatically appear with the cooldown time behind it, which I think is really helpful. Um, I've, you know, I use this a lot. Well, I used to. I remembered this add-on. I was like, saw the question. And I thought, I swear I've done that before. I swear I've had an add-on that used to do that. So I had a little dig around and I found this one, which I did used to use. I used to use it on my Hunter for tracking Serpent Sting before um, I found Quartz, really. And, uh, you know, I also tracked Rapid Fire, Bestial Wrath, stuff like that. You know, things that you need to really keep an eye on as a Hunter. Right, so now we've got... We're going to go on here and we're going to go Bar Type, Spell Cooldown. And we're going to go Raise Dead. So, like... So, there we go. And this last one is going to be the Empower Rune Weapon, like I was going to do before. But then I realised it was, wasn't really going to work. Empower Rune Weapon, like that. Okay. I suppose we can change the colours, but for now, I'm going to leave them like that. So you go slash need to know again, like so. As you can see, Raid's Dead is still on a 20 to 2 second cooldown. But I'm going to fire off Pillar of Frost again just to show you what it will look like. So you've got the red bar over the top there. I'm just going to put that on as well, just so you can see. And then underneath you can see this bar like going down and down and down, but you don't know what that is yet. Um, once this gets to the end, that bar will disappear and will display the one behind it, which is really cool. Wait for it. There we go. So now you can see Pillar of Frost is 37 seconds left on cooldown. I think that's such a good idea. It keeps it clean instead of having one lot of bars here, another one over here for cooldowns. You just put them behind. I think it was really cool. And uh, that's one of my favourite aspects of this. If I log out and show you my Paladin, you can see even better what it will look like. Because I've got a lot more cooldowns, obviously, as a Paladin. Um, prop Paladins have, like, millions of cooldowns. So if I just go need... Oh, can't spell to no, like that. So yeah, we've got a lot more, and we're just going to drag that one over the top, like so. Wait for it. That's about right. So you type slash need to know again. Or you can go into your interface and click play mode or config mode, depending on what you want to do. Right, so we're going to pop some cooldowns. We're going to pop my trinket. We're going to pop all of these ones down here, apart from that one. Uh, Divine Guardian, which I can't actually pop because I'm not in a party. As you can see, all the cooldowns are going down. They are really cool. And then when they disappear, the cooldown on the spell appears behind it, which is super helpful. It's so good. Uh, this is one of my favourite add-ons. You know, I haven't used it for a while, and uh, I don't really know why. Because as a holy, like, as a prop paladin, I have all these cooldowns, but I never really use them unless I'm on a boss. But if I had this, then I could track the cooldowns better and I could use them, you know, on some difficult trash packs. Because I know, um, like, the trash packs before their last boss of end time, is those are pretty bad. Like, if you don't CC one, then they can hit pretty hard. Even with one CC'd, if you're not, like, superb geared, which my tank isn't at the moment, I'm still gearing it up, um, then 
you know, you can get hit really hard. And uh, I could use some of these cooldowns on that. But I never really do because I always think, uh, yeah, I better save that for the boss. But as you can see, like, they're on really short cooldowns. Especially my Trinket, uh, Avenging Wrath, uh, Guardians of the Ancient Kings, ridiculously short cooldowns. And this one as well, Divine Protection, one minute cooldown. It's crazy. Like, you can use that all the time. It's like a straight, what is it, 20% damage reduction, which is mad. Every 10, well, for 10 seconds every minute, which is uh, quite cool. So it's only 50 seconds out of that minute that you will be taking full damage. Although you could pop, you know, some other stuff like uh, Guardian, the Ancient Kings, that's another 12 seconds. Then, uh, you know, it's awesome. It's just crazy, like, the amount of damage reduction you can get as a Paladin. I think that's why... You know, some paladins seem to take a lot of damage. It's probably because they don't use their cooldowns effectively. But anyway, that was a look at Need to Know. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.